Hey guys, I'm making this video as a one year anniversary for ZM, as it's been a long time. ZM is founded on July 9th of last year, and ZM has come a long way, as ZM was actually built off of other clan past experiences that I've had, like SESOD, Brainiac Maniacs, TGE, YAI, UL, and now ZM. I didn't run all these clans like a madman, I would never be like Crazy Dave, but I did run a few, like SSOD, Brain Maniacs, TGE, and ZM. Now, not to bore you, I'll highlight the stuff about the previous clans. It takes a bit of each clan, like adding ingredients to your soup. For SSOD and Brain Maniacs, I had around 40 players at the time, and we were going to be a part of the Garden Warfare 2 clan tournament until we had some problems with a clan called the ZPG clan. Then down the line, soon the leader, official YAI, that ran the clan, YAI, or known as You Are an Idiot, ran things more clearly and soon took the approach on how he did it, instead how Brainiac Maniacs or SESOD took their approach when running the clan. And that's what we do for the modern day for ZM. Now back then I used to be a skid. I know, pretty cringe, right? I don't skid anymore, but after the YAI died, UL was going to be the PCGN clan. Until two months, it was changed. I do feel bad for what happened within the past, but for the video, I feel like it's best to cover even the bad parts of its history. So UL clan was actually ZM, but UL was being ran by two other leaders before I took back my place as leader. Back then, those two leaders' names were Social Mushroom and Robot Boo 999 They would soon leave and create their own group, and I would take back UL. During their time as leaders, a PC for UL was most in place. Well, a tiny bit of PlayStation was at play. After a week or so, I renamed UL to ZM, as I didn't like the name Undead Legion. So we went for Zombopolis Mafia as our new name. Before the name change, you can still find our presence. Like in one of Sarcastic Bloke's videos, you can see one of the OG members, Bagged, that he got into the hacker compilation video. Then on forward, Zim would soon get its own channel, trailer, and would have their own fight. But let me talk about the original people as they deserve to have their own section. For the original gang, I'll go over the members and some of the things they have helped in. First person to join was Burb. He's still been in the PC version of Garden Warfare 2 and proudly never skidded at all. He's really nice from the team we had and helped a bunch of events. Second was Choppy and he was part of his own server and helped with side projects and had an alliance with ZM. Then we had the first skid, Josefina Lopez, and along with a few other skids we had Scott known as Kong. We have the Albert Gigas, which made tons of mods for ZM, good or bad. We had Scythewave Tron, Crack Foxy, another really smart cheater, the P Master, known as Monster Man, or from YouTube, Monster Man. We also had Deer Lava, Caesar, known as Alexis Arroya, 01 for PlayStation, and he's the top leader for ZM PlayStation. And for the last kid, we had Bagged and Crazy. Crazy was the one kid that was on a whole new level. He helped figure out so much later down the line, like dev tools, scripts, slash code, and even a new thing he made that was a frosty Garden for One profile that only Ali Jackson and a few others had. If you didn't know what a Frosty Profile is, it's a tool that allows you to mod the game for Garden Warfare 1. Now let's move on to one of the most important parts of ZM's history on PC. Back in the day, we had enemies such as GT3, ACS, and a few other clans. We also were against Discord servers, such as the Frostbite modding server for its toxicity and corruption. We also hated Federal Federation for other reasons as well. Now, a lot of times people thought of ZM as a joke and made fun of us. So ZM struck back, which was crazy. We had our first ZM fight against the popular YouTuber Fooj. But why him specifically? You see, a lot of members in ZM had beef with ACS members, and they would call us out for being losers, which 
I was back then, we'll be honest, but then uh, proceed to use hacks against us. And yes, we do have footage of ACS members using hacks. I'm not making this up, it's actually real, and I'll play the clip right here. Now, another reason why we had beef with his fans was because ZM told his fans to falsely report my channel and for it to be taken down. So on August 19th, 2023, we attacked back, and it was total chaos. After that, there was more beef and gained more enemies like Dylan, the most annoying person on the planet, for real. But don't worry, as soon as we apologize, we're attacking Fuge and we're on good terms with him for now. Now for the second part of the chapter, we have ban tools. Now when you hear the word ban tools, they sound scary as they are. Now when ZM was first made, there was a, another operation happening. It was to gain dev tools as a group of players we didn't like, such as a player named Nier, had obtained them. ZM was determined to get them and spent a long time trying to gain them. If you don't know what dev tools are let me explain they allow you to access unused content change the game looks around you and apply buffs to everyone so in other words it makes you a god something no developers want players to have then one day a player named devlo and if you don't know who he is he's a very smart cheater and he was so good that he can make mods working and bfn basically he's very smart and he also went by the name dev dragon with all caps after the chat he leaked the tools with my friend crazy after chatting for a few weeks and then crazy sent them to me and then we kept them but dev liana went all in and sent them to kong the boss and they were going to leak it in which then velvet q got his hand hands on later on and things went downhill. Later, I came to try to fix the problem and talk to Nixley and Fooch to help give info for their videos. But then some of our enemies like Dylan's tried to make ZM look worse by faking a ban list of players and more and were faked. Then the rest is history and the slow decline of ZM PC. Although sadly, after that moment, Devlin got the worst end of the stick. From what we know, we know that his friends left him and he disappeared. We also know he got had depression after a private chat I had with him around that time. After that little chat we had, he was gone with no trail left behind. People were saying that he sadly vanquished himself, sadly. So if you do ever look at my profile, you'll see the phrase all hail dev dragon just as a memorial. Although he may have started the end of PC Girl for 2. He was still very smart and should be remembered. After all the drama, Soom ZM apologized and most of the community has forgiven ZM and on good terms. I'm aware that people still hate ZM and from his past and it's fine. Slowly ZM will die out and I didn't want it to end so fast. So then I turned to one of my best friends, Alexis, and we established ZM for PlayStation. And that would be the greatest choice for ZM. Although ZM PC died, maybe for the better, ZM PlayStation became the best thing I could ever wish for. In the beginning, ZM had a quick start, going from two of us into 20 members within three weeks. We would grow for quite some time. We would have other alliances in the future such as Abby's group chat, Vanguardo's clan, Cactus clan, Chicken clan, and the Popcap clan. Soon, we'd have over 50 members before the first war, and that was between ZM and Abby's clan. The first fight would go on for three days of different smaller wars until Abby's clan gave up for peace. Soon, nine months later, we had another war, but finding out at the end, the individual who started the war tricked Abby's clan into fighting for him. So things calmed down after one week of fighting. During the fight, Zim was also around 75 players, and the enemy team had around 60 players. Zim has every war archived as a fun fact, and letting you guys know if you want those as a public cool thing. Later on, we fought Vanguardo's clan in the fight against Gemini. This was another week and we ended up having 98 members around that time and the enemy having around 85 members. It was the craziest fight ever with ZM losing off by one point. After the ZM has taken over any West servers and some of NAEs due to the large quantities of players we had on at the time, every week we'd almost have around 7 people active in the party for 10 hours a day. There was actually 
a week that we had this together and I'm not even joking everything was going good until Zam was getting too big where a civil war happened in Zam one fourth got split off as I didn't like how Zam was being run and wanted it to not be a clan anymore but like a friend group these fights went on over a week or so around a week or two Zam was fighting them off easily although more things were crumbling Zam decline was happening like what was happening with the PC version once Somerset Morn said nothing in the world is permanent and we're all foolish when we ask anything to last but surely we're still more foolish to not take a delight in what while we have it now you know you ZM haters will be happy to hear this but as of recently ZM has ended and died sort of players of ZM have made their own versions of ZM to hopefully move it on in the future although due to most leaders being terrible at it or couldn't handle it I'm hosting a private ZM chat that's friendly and no longer I'm the leader and I'll be moving on as nothing lasts forever. At the end, Zam wasn't just a clan, but a place to make new friends and play, and a lot of the members now are best friends because of ZM. I'll be displaying some of the members' messages and, or experiences. If you want to read them, go ahead. Thanks to everyone who helped from the past clans and from ZM. Due to the dedication and help, at the end of the video, I'll be displaying all the members' names if it, when they joined ZM or from the other clan. Because every clan I made was to find what works and what doesn't to make ZM like the final product. Project. Even if you betrayed ZM, joined ZM once, and then left, or that helped ZM in some way, you'll be credited. Now, I'll see you next time, and let's honor everyone who helped. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>